Well, that's it. We're live. I'm here. The stream is up. There's, I think there's some major lag in here between stuff coming up. Oh, it'll be so much fun when I get my tweet bot working. I don't have to worry about that stuff. And they'll all function properly. That'd be nice. That'd be quite good. I mean, things work. As they're supposed to. But at the moment, it's just me. Here I am, all by myself. I, I'm early. Probably. You're all probably thinking, this is not 7.30. No, it's not 7.30. But it's 7.19. Well, according to my clock it is, anyway. Let's have a look. Is everything up and running? We've got music. I've got sound. I can definitely hear sound. That looks like it's working. It's like dusting off the cobwebs, making sure everything's still there. Here we go. New song. And time to click. There we go. Let's get some world loaded, shall we? Oh, look, there's loads of clouds. Oh, my goodness, what on earth happened? There's a bunny. Hello, Chris. Look, there's a bunny. Where's the bunny going? Yo, bunny. Well, it, it's, it's looking a little different over here. What's been going on? Where's the bunny going? Yo, bunny. Everybody go jump. Jump. Jump, bunny. Jump. Bunny jump. Bunny, bunny. Where you go? Where are you go? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No, I ain't got the flowers. Bunny, where have we got? Are you leading me somewhere, bunny? What happened to the world? I don't know. Look. There's like clouds and this. The sun. Oh, where'd, the, where'd the bunny go? Bunny? 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 Bun bunny? Hello, bunny. Hello, little bunny. What's that song? Jump. Everybody, let's jump. Everybody, let's jump. Jump like the bunnies. Jump. Let's jump like the bunnies. Jump. Where'd the bunny gone? Bunny. Bun bunny. Bunny. Bunny, what's what's been going on over here, bunny? Uh, huh. What was that? I heard bunny squeal. Where the bun? Uh oh, did the bunny fall on the saw? Oh no! Where the bun? Where the bunny go? Guys, where's the bun? Where's the bunny? The bunny fall on the. Where the there's like no dead bunny parts. Oh no, I hear grinding noises. I've got to walk around this way. I really need to fix that. Have you seen the bunny? What are you guys doing? Where's your house gone? Guys? There is no sign of the bunny. Did you kill the bunny? Can cats kill bunnies? Oh no. What is happening, Chad? Chad, what is happening? You don't know. Do you know where the bunny is? You're not selling any bunny parts. Oh no. Where the bunny gone? Where are the chickens? Make a grave. That's the least you can do. I, I could. How do I make a grave? It's chickens. Uh, like a... Like a sign or something. I... Do you know what? I'll do it. I'll, I'll place a single piece of this to mark where the bunny died. Yeah? We know the bunny was here. Or we will leave a monument to the bunny. Here. Here is the last known sighting of where the bunny was. It hasn't gone down here, has it? Just bang my head on every block on the way down. Bunny? 
money. Hey, Rady Cat! You've joined us at a most terrible and distressing point. I did not murder a bunny. Please replay the video. There was there was no, none of this, none of, none of this clicking, no, none of the other clicking. That I didn't even get this thing out. I just followed the bunny, and it there was a. Ee! You money made him run off a cliff. Uh, that's not technically true. I don't think I made the bunny run off a cliff. And we can't find any bunny parts. Look. We think the bunny may have leapt from here onto the stone cutter. Oh, even the villagers have left me now. Oh, they're not happy. Oh dear. They run because you stink. I'm sad. One PJC is sad. Because I stink. In other news, do you like my cape? Look at that. Woohoo! I think, I think look, it goes up and down. I got a cape. I've got a cape. Look at, look, look at my cape. Look at it flutters. Ooh, pretty. It's my favourite colour, purple. I love purple. Right. I suppose everyone wants to know what's going on. Have I given everyone time to turn up? Let's have a look in chat. One, two. Yep, everyone's here. Right. The, nothing has happened over there. Has it? No. Right, so. I, pardon? Uh, this is Spawn. Welcome, everybody, to Spawn. Nice trans tran trans trans transaction? Transition. One of them words. Look, here is the world. This is our map. I'll try not to click on it because I'll probably break it off the wall and I can't remember how to put it back on again. And it, it it's not updated. This is how it was last time you saw it. Here is the eye, the focal point of our server. The spawn place. Look at our docks. Don't our docks look really good? I think that looks awesome on a map like that. And you got all of this over here. And yeah, there's like all the wood farm. Look at the pattern. Look at the wood pattern. It's cool. It's really good. And there, there is. Um, I'm getting down lower. Uh, over there, that's Becca's house. She's there. And Rady Cat sort of off the edge of the map over there somewhere the map's not big enough to show where she, where she lives it's over there no your stuff's not on there it's sort of over there somewhere isn't it it's sort of like a long way that way over there but yeah this is looks nice doesn't it i think it looks good hello mary have you seen a rabbit no okay that was a definite no look oh the stars are coming out <gasps> oh look 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 this is my favorite bit I love this look. Stars and the sun is setting on another day in Minecraft. We will always know this day as the day the bunny died. It is currently, d where's, where's the thing where it tells you what day number it is? It's up there on the left somewhere, I can't see it. Um, I've lost it. I'm looking, I now see it. I don't know. It's the day the duck bunny died. The sun is burning your eyes. Don't look at it, Chris. Don't look. It's t it's too bright. It's pretty. But it's pretty with the stars. Look. It's so beautiful. One f one thousand one hundred ninety-nine. Where was that? I'm looking. D are you making that up? Local difficulty. Oh yes, day one one nine nine. Ah, oh, good spot. Can someone remember that? Actually, look, I do this. I do a screen cap of it. There we go. I will always remember day one thousand one hundred ninety-nine. Blimey, I didn't realise this world had been going for so long. It's dark, and I'm outside. It's scary. Right, we're not going in. Nothing's changed in there, guys. You'll remember. 
We will remember. Have I got a poppy? I need to plant a flower for the but. Da da ha 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 Where'd you go? Ah, gotcha. Round the back. Ha ha. You broke my plants. Vandal. Anyone else down there? No. Right. Let's go indoors. There's a hole here. All right. I was not short of a step, but I did meet one of those green things. It was not. Oh, don't look at that. Don't look at that. It's like uh, sneak over. Oh, it, it. No, there's the the. No, don't look at that wall lever. And then uh, it's like, there we go. Oh, there we go. I got into bed without showing anything off. I, d I don't want to like give away top secrets. Do you want to see? Who wants to see what? Is that the door? Like that? Oh, it's pretty stuff. Have you been over here, Rady Cat? Have you seen this stuff? Look, you can't see through the door. Show us the wall, man. There it is. There's a wall. You saw it. Have you seen it? Have you seen it, Rady Cat? It's very exciting. Oh! Oh, look. Nope. Oh, okay. I show you. Look! That. Oh, poop! What the heck happened there? Who's reloaded the server? That. J anyway, that one worked. That's my map. Why have I got wheat and an arrow in my hand? That's pathetic. Look, look at that. That looks nice. It's pretty. Oh, so pretty. That's a map of my name. That's good, isn't it? And a. What the heck happened to these ones? Are they... Has there been like an update or something? Where did my maps go? Oh, Guys, I had pictures of you all. Oh, that's naff. And they're locked. Look, it says... Buried treasure map. Map ID number 40. You were locked. What's going on here? Why is it now unlocked? Has somebody been making... Oh, something's broken. Oh, man. That's no good. Let's try this one. Let's have a look at this one. Is this one locked? No, it's not locked. Why not? Where's the glass planes? There we go. That's what we're supposed to do, isn't it? You're supposed to do that. It says locks when I hover over it. And look, it won't... It won't lock. Oh. Anyway... What I did have was some awesome, amazing... Fo Why have those ones moved? Where did those ones go? There were pictures on the end here. I've been taken off the end. There was a picture of me in Halo. I don't know where it's gone. Looks like Africa. It does, doesn't it? It's a bit weird. I don't know where they where they are. Anyway, I, I was putting some pictures on here and they looked really good. Well, as you can see, and I'm like guided now. They're gone. Oh, man. I'm so sad. Did you put the blue, put up the blue banana? I didn't have the blue banana. I had some others of us and stuff. I wanted to like try all these out, see what they look like. But we seem to have lost some. I'm sad. It's weird how that one, two, three. What number's that one? 43. 40. 41, 42, 43. Yeah. wonder if someone's been like making maps and... Is that like the next one? 53. Because you like number them. 44. So that could be the next one that goes. Well, you're there. Yeah, look. There's you on the end. And there's a little bit of halo. And and over on this side is is a, um, a, a, a Becky Bumble. Oh, okay. Well, that's poop. 
Come on, cat. I'm gonna have to sort out the maps. But not tonight. I'll have to come back and sort the maps out another time. That's sad. That's so sad. <sighs> anyway, so going back, where are all the chickens gone? I hear you cry in chat. I know, stop saying it in chat. There's just so many messages going. Where are all the chickens gone? I know, they've like vanished. So sad stream. I know. There's, there's a lot of eggs. Anyone? Anyone for cake? Uh, so, round here. Over in this direction. See, I made some path. I did some pathway. Because I thought that would look quite nice across here. It's quite good. Rip cool pe peak pigeons. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that word is, Chris. I'm confused. Ah, I should show you these guys over here. I went exploring today and found those treasure maps. Maybe it broke it. It could be. It could be it's broken because I did sort of force them into the game. So... Uh, it could be that it's overwritten them. So what I might have to do is go back and, like, pre-make them. That's what I was just thinking in my head. If I pre-make them and then reload them. Street birds. You find them everywhere. Ah! You're being flying rats. Also known as pigeons. That's the word. Hello, Godvilla. Right. So something else very weird happened over here as well the other day because I made an armor stand right here with armor and everything in a pose. It was like, like this, with his arm out, looking thoughtful and knowledgeable, the world around. But no, it's not here anymore, so who nicked that or where it went? There's strange things happening on this server. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, in here, we have Eric. Eric, get the door shut, Eric. Eric's got a, a lamp down there. Eric's new to the server. He's... He... He's... Uh, a, he's a nitwit, basically. And... I mean... Let's be honest, he's, he's not exactly the most conversational but I'm trying to get a good position here to take a photo of him. There we go. He's not exactly having the greatest of conversations with me. Eric, the KFC man. Yeah, there's sort of a bit of that old like KFC thing going on here. Actually, I've been to a KFC and I think I may have actually met you serving. Yeah. Bink. Yeah, yeah, I can hear the words. Do you want to go large right now? Um, yeah, so this is Eric. Eric is um, going to stay on the server for a while now. In fact, he's staying permanently until somebody dies or kills him or something like that. Hmm, yes. Um, you've got no credit card machine, so I'm not paying you. Anyway, if you if we now click on him and see what trades he's got, look at this. Oh, oh, now he's interested. Did you hear that? He went, huh? 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 Oh, see? Yeah, huh? Yeah, this is, I'm looking at the menu now. You're into ah, yeah, yeah. Eric Master. His name. So, er excuse me. Eric likes selling stuff, and he's. Yeah, I've already bought one of these from him. He's, he does a good trade, right? A block of diamonds it might seem like a lot. It's nine diamonds to you and me, but he'll have a block. And a book. Now, what do you reckon he sells for a block of diamond and a book? Anyone got any ideas? Next person in chat, come on. You're going to get this. I bet you get it first time. Huh? Yeah, I, I see. Eric believes it. Spot on. Chris, high five. You got it. Mending book. It's a difficult thing to get hold of in the game, to be honest, isn't it? And I'm thinking, 
can you imagine running a server and you can't get mending books at a decent price? And I thought that was a decent price. And I'm just going to open a can of Coke. It's not me making some weird noise. There we go. Um, there are other cans of drinks available. I won't tell you which brand this is, um, but I'm going to the max. Sixteen emeralds. Nice. 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 Eric, you might be out of a job. I'll tell you where the dole office is. I've been there last week. Right. Um, so that's Eric. Eric might be getting some other trades as well. Eric is a custom villager mod. Ah, a herd of creepers. I see no creepers. Nope, no creepers in here. So Eric is gonna be having custom trades added that he can um, sell to people who come on the server. And of course there are other places you can go and buy stuff. He's here at spawn. Apparently you can buy some for 16 emeralds a long way out there if you wanna go for a swim. There are some other villagers here as well. These are also, cut. God, you guys look ugly. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you might recognize these. These are also from the Hermitcraft Vanilla Tweaks. And we have the gem collector who can, oh my can, yeah, it did sound like a herd of creepers. Good spot. So you can sell your special gems for heads. And over here, you can trade your heads for your favorite uh, Minecraft person. And I will be adding us to it. So I'll be making this. I actually do like the Wandering Trader as well. He might get added. It's gone dark out there. Oh, poop. That's scary. Um, so we'll get a uh, another villager who does our stuff. You had to spend 30 minutes switching out the lecterns. Oh, okay. That's It's good call. And we've got a gem trader here who will buy diamonds and sell you gems as well. All right, now you're probably wondering why all of that is so important. Where's my bed? Anyone see the bed? Is there one in there? Nope. Um, oh, I left it all the way over here. I'll, I'll be back in a second, guys. Don't look at that stuff on the left. I just... Shh, close your eyes. I'm holding my hand over the screen. Don't look. Don't look. No, no, that way. I'll go this way. It's quicker. Oop. I put these in. I thought they were quite handy for like getting around. Do you like? Look. This is pretty. Look. I've got a little. Uh, uh, and out there, out there, look. That's that's wave ready. Wave ready, cat. Hi Silky! Look Silky, there's Rady Cat out there. That's where she is. You should have a spoiler wall. Oh, that's no, obviously not supposed to be looking at that. Anyway, so yeah, in these houses, all the way along here, are all the various, oh my God. These two got something like measles or something. Um, yeah, so they will sell you for the gems these little, they're actually player heads that look like the little blocks. So you can actually buy the tiny blocks. Wood, stone, I like, where's the where's the redstone guy? There's the red, you guys all look really ill. The redstone, look, tiny pistons and tiny TNT. It's, it's a core and he does little tiny ores. That's really good. Hola, I have Ebola. Yep. He's got... Oh, hello. He does little blocks. He does more blocks. And he does never stuff. Yep. So that's good stuff, isn't it? Who's, who's in there? I'm not going in. Aqua, concrete, functional. What's functional got? Look. Little chests. All sorts of things. They're really cool. And Yeah, that's them ones. So these guys are staying on the server so that you'll be able to come over here and trade with them 
and like do stuff do stuff i've got an announcement coming up later as well guys so um stay tuned oh shall i show you what's down there no 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 sorry so don't matter don't matter we'll come back to that i don't don't need to show you that that's not a problem right so these guys you bruised your ankle what do you mean? I fished, finished the glass platform. Ooh! Being played around with the golem. So these guys have employed themselves their own iron golem. I'm not sure why. But we, you might remember in the last stream we talked about the fact that this needs to move. And like the guys need to like sort out their house now. It might be because the zombies can walk over the wall. Hello chicken! Where are you going chicken? Right. Um, yeah, because we've got this pathway here, and there's going to be some more buildings, but we seem to have this tree and tempting, like, um, tempting, tempting, like, uh, what do you call it? It's a little area for them to live in. It's protective. Stop teasing. I'm not teasing. Why would I tease? I don't tease. Right, let's go over here. Look, more cats. They need names. Mr. Green Eyes. Yeah. So over here, uh, I started doing some building work. And I thought, do you know what? I really want to... Oh, like, have something that's a little bit more interesting. So this is what I'm going to come over here and work on tonight. I wanted to put some little farms together. Bye, Silky. I can't believe she's going. I had an announcement and everything. Oh well. If people are not here, I can't help that. Right. Super duper magic announcement and everything. You know. So shall I show you around? Shall I show you the farms? Shall I show you what's going? What's going on in these? These took a lot longer. Hello, chicken. These took a lot longer than you might think to make. They've been absolute pain in the bottom to be honest because trying to get them the right shape and everything sure so in here this is the fish pen see it's got a big net round it now we don't have a lot of fish at the moment everyone has a lack of people how do you mean there's a lack of people it's not bad. It does look a bit like a fishing net, I thought. But they're not too bad. See, we've got a salmon and we've got some cod. So, we're like, that's so cool. Or you could say, it's so cod. And um, it's codlicious. There was a dolphin in here earlier as well, but I don't know where the dolphin's gone. It is probably out there somewhere. And don't bother going looking at that raidy cat. Somebody's already raided it and it wasn't me. Okay, so yeah, this is the fishing pen. So I'll get out the fishing pen. And you can actually get in and out over the fence post, which is quite nice as well. So it looks quite cool. <laughs> so then what I did was, I did a little bit of lighting. I thought about putting some posts up for when the ship comes in. When the little boat, little boat comes in. So in here, we have, where's the entrance? I lost it. Oh, it's here. There we go. Mind the eggs. Right. So we have our f we have an Exuma turtle. Hello. He's a bit shy, and yes, it technically is captivity, Chris. But I would just like to point out, hello, Mr. Turtle. Right. That. The zombies have been trying to like break the eggs and we lost a few after I went and got found some. Kitty! Hello! Oh my god, a caught stream. Do you know what's even more amazing? I'm actually streaming. That that's more Dolphins die for some reasons when you put them in, in, in captivity. Oh do they? Well I didn't put him in there, I think he leapt in. 
Um, so yes, this is a, an Exuma turtle who has been brought up, I would like to point out, from an egg. This little area has saved the egg and he's grown up from a baby. We missed him when he was a baby. He, she, but we have another one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to repopulate the ocean with turtles. Exactly what we're gonna do. So yeah, you're gonna help. It's no good looking out there. I can't breed you if you go out there. So when this one has, has grown, and you would not believe how long it takes these eggs to grow, call it Boris. I haven't got a name tag. Thou shall be known as Boris the turtle. Okay, Boris. Somebody remind me to name him. I don't mean right now. What was that pop noise? Oh, it's a chicken. Right, so Boris and the little, I'm hoping that's going to be a little girl egg then. Boris and his girlfriend, or unless Boris is a girl when you've got a boy's name, Boris. Hello? Are you alright down there, Boris? It... Is it me, or does, does Boris look really sad? I feel really bad now. I know you're just pixels and software and code and stuff, but I feel really bad now that Boris wants to go and like swim in the ocean. Well, no, there's not a sister. I mean, the the egg came from a different place. He was, well, he's lone. He is, yes, and that's why we're protecting the egg so that you can have many. And then we can release some out into the ocean and repopulate the ocean. There's this bit of sand. I'm going to bring more sand over here. Sand? Over here. And make this like a spawning breeding island for them. So you can bring that sand over here. And we can like help protect them from the zombies and stuff. I think that's important. So anyway, that's pen one, pen two. And you'll notice... Anyone who's really clever will notice this. Well, he's he is lovely. The, 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 the farms go up exactly one block at a time between each one. It's really cool. I come up with this whole design myself. Sand! And see, that's one down, and this is level. See? And that's why I did that one in the water, because it's the fishy. Hang on a minute. I've got a... My computer keeps telling me to reboot because of, like, antivirus and stuff, and it's doing my head in. Right, so we've got that, and then we've got this one at this level, level with the with, with the little animals to come in. I, d I didn't want to capture any more, like, fishy or anything. So in here, the pigs. The pigs were brought over from over there. Not surprising. But unfortunately, the pigs are not that exciting. We've already seen pigs. You may have seen them in Minecraft before. And the, there's cows. But cows were easily lured over here as well. It's getting dark. I'm just going to have a little sleep. And a drink. Is everyone excited? Oink. Pink oink. There's a, there's a lot of these around. There's a lot of you guys. Right. Cows. Yeah, moo. Yeah. But sheep. Don't put your bottom in my face, sheep. Right, so we have white sheep and black sheep. There were only a couple. I don't know. Who on the server has been stealing sheep? Or has there been a sheep catastrophe? A sh 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 past sheep catastrophe? As opposed to a cat catastrophe. A sheep. I can't say that word. No. So, I bred up some more sheep. They're more sheep. See, we've gone up another level. It's cool, isn't it? It's right. And look, chickens. I'm sure I had more chickens than that. Have you been getting out? You can't get out, can they? Tell me, guys. Sheep? No. These are chickens. Chickens can't get out. Kevin? Who's Kevin? We have a mascot on my server, a pig named Kevin. Oh! 
Well, if anybody wants a particular sheep or cow named after them, I, I, I'm, I'm happy to do that. I'm not quite sure why. But, uh, you love... Ooh, love me a good pig. I don't know what to say, Rady Cat. Have you been struggling with dates again? Seriously, girl. There's, there's more to life than a pig. Um, right, so, next up. We've got to go around this way because it's a little bit of a, of a little bit of a climb. In here, where are they? There they are. It's bunnies. I had to make a too high wall for the bunnies. But yeah, there. Look, bunnies. There you go. A real life Minecraft bunny. And I bred some of them up in there. Well, one of my friends saved him, then vanished. He does that a lot. And left him in a pit. Oh, that sounds bad. So we decided to keep him. Well, yeah. That's a good thing. Keep my love life out of this. Oh, okay. You and pigs. Not saying a thing. The problem is that my server has... Stop scrolling up the screen. Ah... Uh, has a chicken infestation because we kept throwing eggs at each other. Well, yeah, that tends to happen. But yeah, the bunny's in there. And the but What do you want? Go and get in your own pen. So the bunny's in here. I decided they needed a too high wall because they kept leaping out. And um, I put a little hill in the middle because I thought they'd like, what, like want to like dig their own little home. And I put daffodils in there. Apparently that's their favourite. Daffodils. So we've got this one that's empty. Um, so what? I was actually planning on putting carrots in here and moving Sam. Oh dear, creeper blow up. Creeper's not blowing up, not good. My old server, my friend had a chicken named Yeet. We have a Yeet. Wild bunnies. A fox pen. I did think of that. Foxes are quite difficult to catch. So I, I might like have to do something with that. Anyway, these are all about, they're, they're pretty much the same size. I did spend a bit of time trying to make them look right. Becca's house is just around there and they'll go up in a nice spiral. Uh, what I want you to do is put carrots in here and then in the middle here, I have plans for a build. So we've got a nice square hole in the middle here. And I want to build something very grand and beautiful to go in here. So first of all, I thought to start on the, um, yeah, start on that lot. And underneath, look at this, guys. Look, look at this. Look, storage space. Look, we've got little rooms. Look, this comes out here. I don't know what to put under here. I don't know whether to leave that open. Or do I put something in here? Maybe? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know what to what to, what to keep in here. I did actually think maybe like it could be like storage or it could be a house for the villagers or something or I don't know. You stumbled on an arctic fox and have become an instant fan of... I, I've got one. There's there's an arctic fox. There's more storage through here. And I made a few of these because I'm using quite a lot. But yeah. I'll show you where the arctic fox is. Because I left the boats laying around. I've actually decided it's actually quite dangerous in Minecraft to leave boats laying around. Like, I've left that one there, you see. I really shouldn't do it. There might have to be a penalty for people who do it. Because over here... Look. Hang on. Eek. There's a white arctic fox that's in, in the boat. And he's been there a very, very long time, actually. And to be honest, he makes weird noises occasionally. Uh, just by the way... This, this hole here was not me. Halo. What, who put this here, Halo? Saying a thing. 
right. He makes little noises. He did catch something, like a... Hello. He caught something, like a fish, I think. Yeah, he's caught a fish. I don't know whether to, like... They're not creepy. They're all right. They're cute. I don't know how you make them friends. So, so I haven't done anything with him yet because he's the only one I've got. Cutest noises maybe, but they're also terrifying to hear when imported into a swamp. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this guy, but he's in there. I feel like he's safe. Yeah. He seems all right. Sweet berries. Yeah, they do something with sweet berries. Sweet oh, sweet berries. So if I get a sweet berry, will I be able to tame him while he's in there? Could I buy a fox? I think in... Well, I don't know about other countries, but in the UK, you can certainly keep foxes. You want to buy him? That's interesting. Never thought about selling foxes. Where was, where was the sweet berries? I think I had some over here, didn't I? There was some underneath. Where's my plants? Oh, there we go. Right, let's go try this out. Do they folly? Are they a bit like cats? Have you got like, tame them? They like, come towards you? I've got this one captured, so he's not going to go anywhere, is he? And then what happens? Do they then... Do they follow me around? Do I make him sit? Is he going to look at me? They won't follow you. You don't tame the adults. When you breed them, the babies are tamed. Ah. But their behaviour doesn't change much. They won't follow. Will he stay about? Will I... hmm. Does that mean he loves me now? Because he... Uh oh. Hello. Well, this this is a thing. I was not expecting this. Uh, guys, I seem to be in a boat with a fox. Yeah. Uh, look at me in my boat. <laughs> oh dear, that's funny. Oh, uh, if I said, I'm going to get out of the boat now. How do I get out? Shift. Oh. Right. Uh, no, they run off. You have to put them in a pen or a house or on a lead. On a lead. Hmm. So if I put a lead on him and then like go and find a fence post. I've got plenty of fence posts. Leads. I've got a lead. Right. Let's, let's go and have a look. And who took all these? I tell you, since I opened up this server, things keep disappearing. That, why? Stop it. Stop leaving your eggs laying around. For God's sake. I need to get a mason in to fix the floor. Alright, leads. Have we got any lead? Look, there's a lead. Look, I've got two. I'll have one of them. Where are we going to keep the foxes? Where should we put them? Wait, it's open. Server? Oh, 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 oh. Maybe. People have been not. Well, I need a bed, don't I? I'm going, and I'm going the wrong way. Yep. This is a server. I sounded like. Actually, I've got secrets to tell everyone. But the Minecraft server guide. I love this one. I think it looks quite cool. I don't know why that's a different colour to that, though. Maybe it's just me. Um, keep the foxes in my soon-to-be petting zoo. Ah, oop, hang on, I'm still going to be standing here at the wall. There we go. Right, let's do that. Um, so I haven't told anyone yet, but as part of my idea, where should we keep? Where should we keep them? I don't know where to where to keep the foxes. Shall I just, just like bring them over here with sweet berries? They like sweet berries, don't they? You'll take my entire stock. 
Yeah, I might like connect him up to this one and then he can like eat the sweet berries over there. Because I think they eat the chickens as well, don't they? That would be a nice spot. Thank you. I think so too. Now, can I get him while he's in? in no. Sorry. I think I've got to break your boat first. Oh dear, this could be bad. Um... Ah! He just flew in the air. Come here. Right. Eh. Come on. I know you're a chap. Why is he sinking? Get out the water. You'll drown. Get out. Are you after the chicken? You after the chicken now? Right. Okay. Come here. Come on. Get out of the way, chicken, or you're going to end up as being lunch. I told you. It's a good way to keep the chickens in control, isn't it? You might want to go. Come on. Oi. Psst. Over here. You're attached. Leave the chicken alone. No. 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 Leave the chicken alone. And don't eat the bees either. What the heck? My God. Just let it. Holy poop. They jump high. He'll break the lead. Let him get the chicken. No, I'm not going to let him get the chicken. Yes, the leads are strong in 115. <laughs> are you are you nuts? Are you really going to stand? No. Oh, he's got chicken now. If you're that stupid to stand that close to him, he'll eat you. He might not actually eat you. Oh, he's gone green. Why has he gone green? This is a good way of culling the chickens, isn't it? The chicken! I've got hundreds of bloody chickens. Wow, that's... That's nuts, isn't it? That's a good way of getting rid of the chickens, I'd have to say that. I'd stay away if I was you. Look at him, look at him. Right, we need to come find, we need to find another one. Wow. I, I don't know what to do. Right. They get hunger effect if they eat raw meat. Oh, okay. So what are they supposed to eat then? Now can I join the almighty server of Mon Picture? I was going to talk about that. Meow. Yeah. I was. It's funny you should say that. I was going to talk about people coming on the server. Blood baths. Cooked meat or veggies. Is that what is that what they eat? You haven't got a name. No. You need a name. What was it doing? Ah yes. Carrots. Carrots. We were doing carrots. I'm so forgetful. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Hello everybody. Don't mind me. Right, what have I got in my inventory? Why have I got all this junk? Oh. Why do I need all this? And seeds and eggs. I'm going to go nuts with all the eggs everywhere. It's crazy. I don't know what to do. Sit. I'm going to leave the sweet berries in here. I'll forget. i got some more back over there. That's fine. And bones. I don't need bones. And I've got this map. You said something about the server. Yeah, I'm on a server. Look. Can you see? It's like being in the Matrix. Who are you? You're nobody. You are a librarian. Where's Sam? Are you Mac Max? Get a job. You lazy bum. Um, I could say that because I haven't got a job either. Right, Sam, we're going to sort you out with some carrots. Have you got any carrots? No, or am I going to have to pick me own? Tell you what, I'm just going to take some for now, all right? And we've got to sort out, like, making some stuff over there. What's that? Now, 
Is that like the most scariest thing you've ever seen? Name the cat garlic. It's going to be mushroom. Mushrooms and garlic. Oh, the chickens are in. Right, so. <laughs> Don't whip a pig. Oh my god. It's so creepy and mad. Right, now I need some steps, don't I, for the water. Uh, got some water. Water. Um, now I need some... Now you make them out of slabs now, don't you? The old um, thingy bot sits. Is six enough? I'm not sure it is, actually. I think I need at least that many to get one of them. That's it. That's what I wanted. One of them. Right, so. Uh, what was I talking about? Right, carrots. That was it. Uh -huh. ah, yeah, just. Good God, did you see I moved it? <laughs> Momentarily stepped towards the pigs with a carrot in my hands. That was terrifying. <laughs> my God. Did you see how scary it was when I had them following me when I was holding the carrot? It's not like I've rebred them, that's all the original ones that I've just moved. Scared the life out of me. Um, right, I didn't exactly make this easy to get in up here, did I? Oh! Pro building. Right. Now, somewhere in the middle, about here. Look at that, I'm an expert. I knew where the middle was. Uh, we're going to put the... We're going to put a fence post. Uh, we're going to put some water. Like that. Right, finish my risotto. Might pop on the server now. Oh, do you know we have a server? People are going to get annoyed me keep doing that, aren't they? I can tell. Right. Workstation. Now, where are we going to put the houses for the villagers? How are we going to attach them to this thing any ideas because like we've got this farm here how, how to tell people how to get on it right okay right that's it chris is demanding now chris chris has demanded he wants to know right well first of all did anyone see my my post about this on discord Anyone? What, what What's this about? I'm waving my hand at the screen. What? What is it? You saw it. And? And what, and what happened? Well, isn't that... Well, it's just the dynamo... No. No, 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 no. I tried to get in, but not whitelisted. No, of course you're not whitelisted. I, I knew someone would be like nicking the IP address. Of course we're what the contest the contest exactly for a replica yes i want a banner for my server i'm waving my hands around here i should have a webcam on i'm getting very animated oh look Rady Cats joined it let's say hi hi there we go <clears throat> about the server being open well yeah you can't just walk on here right so the good news is uh at least used to oh hello oh, hey 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 look somebody's talking to me on the server isn't that exciting it's very funny um right so firstly i said banner design i told people this a week ago i put like a whole thing on there and everything and I said that if you look, you can stand on the heads, but they don't break. You can't stand on a banner, though. Look, how weird's that? So I said, if somebody comes up with a banner design, they can get early access because you know I want a banner. It's getting dark. So that's the first thing. And I had no replies. And I think I said at the end of this week. Oh, early access. Oh, oh. Bouncy bed, bouncy bed, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. 
it was it's nearly subscriber time so to gain access to the server you will have to be a tier one subscriber that is the first rule the second rule is you must follow and abide by all the rules terms and conditions as per normal of playing on a friendly server this is child friendly this server so there'll be nothing nasty naughty or rude your behavior and this is right okay halo said this really well the other day I, would, I need somewhere to like sit and explain this to you all okay i'm just gonna it's gonna look weird but i'm gonna like stand on my bed okay right here behind me you see a minecraft world right yeah we'll get that respect the rules sir yes sir Oh, you make me sound like some like dictator, right? I I I pay for the server. It's it's mine. It's all mine. Well, okay. Um, not quite that. Oh look, C four one eight. The next restaurant is like this one, Chris. It's called Chris. Um, so this is a bit like my home. A Minecraft world or a server and when people are running it is a bit like having your own home or world that you play in. Minecraft a lot of the time is spent playing on your own in the game and things like that and yes you want to show other people what's here and what's going on and you enjoy sharing that. Look, even the chickens listening thank you guys it's very nice of you all and, and the cows at least some of the cows are listening. And the sheep, well, no, they don't understand English. But this is my home. Now, if you were all standing outside my house and knocking on the door and saying, can I come in? Would I let you all in? Would you let complete strangers into your home? No, probably not. So I expect the same respect, dignity and good behaviour of anyone I invite onto the server as I would into my own home. And if people don't feel like that, they feel like they, that this is a right or something like that, then I'm just going to have to change the way we, we do stuff. Um, so I'm just sort of like giving you the ideas, right? I'm putting a lot of time and effort into this and I want it to be successful but to be successful I need other people to see that as well as part of the vision of what we're doing here as well. Now a lot of what I've done so far setting this up has not got any uh, protection on the server, I'm not running core protect, um, the spawn's completely open. I've actually got to change the spawn limit because if you're not ops, you can't build anything around here. You can't even open doors. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want... I've got Becca and Rady Cat on here because I've known them a while now and I can get on with them quite well. And I think most people respect the rules as well, as you say. So what I want to do is I want to open up a bit more early access and get some more people on here so I can start practicing how the how the world runs, see how things interact and see what problems we run into because this is only running on a very basic low end server. So if I let everyone straight on it's just going to crash. It's going to completely lag out completely. So, apart from the banner, um, I'm looking for two other people to join the server that we can get on. And I'm not necessarily going to, like, pick people. What I would like is, while you're listening right now, guys, is to think of something that you would like to bring or contribute to our server uh, because this will be our server it's my home but it's our server what could you bring on here that would be nice a nice build um, how much time you can spend the bits and pieces like that because I want to like get some people to actually help out with testing the server and making sure it runs properly 
Um, I'm actually going to be, I've got a lot of time to spend because I'm not working. So in Discord, I'd like you guys to write, you know, a couple of, you know, a paragraph or so just to sort of suggest what you'd like to do and the sort of the ethos of this world. Um, we won't be building on top of each other. I'll have a look at that. And then what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to make it such that I'm going to have a word with Rady Cat and Becca as well and Halo. And we'll, they don't know this yet. <laughs> Rady Cat's sitting there thinking, what? Um, so I'm going to let them know. And we're just going to like have a little discussion and see who comes up with the best idea. And we'll let two people on. Ideally, I would like to have everything up and running by the end of this month, which is not a massive amount of time away, to get things like core protects running and everything else, and then we can actually have the server open to anyone who is a tier one, and yes, that includes um, Twitch subs as well. And then you'll be able to come on and we'll have all the proper rules in place and we won't have to worry about what happens and stuff like that. If that sounds fair to you all, I hope that does. I look forward to sort of seeing what your ideas and stuff are, um, what you can bring on. I know other, I know not everyone will be able to commit a lot of time. I know you've got jobs and things. And I also know that people are potentially sort of thinking, well, I actually already play on a server and I've got other things to do. So like, be honest with me uh, and tell me what you can do or what you fancy doing. Sounds cool to me. Thanks, Ready Cat. I'm sorry I haven't like spoken to everyone else first, but I thought this was a good opportunity tonight to sort of like chuck it out and see what it's like. Uh, and see what people's reactions were and see if we can get some people on here and uh, get things moving along I guess right now the next thing I need to do is I need to stop villagers climbing on top of this don't I because they can I think a slab is all I need so let's go and get a slab ah Slabs. Right. I'll stop being all serious now and get back to having some fun. Uh, we'll see what people come up with. So yeah, there's basically three slots open of what I want to do. That's not the right thing. That's a spruce trap door. When did I want a spruce trap door? I didn't want a spruce trap door at all. I wanted one of them. One of them like that. Thank you very much. Um, slabs work. Good. Now, what I was thinking with this build. There we go. Awesome. That'll do. Uh, I could even put something decorative on the top and make it look like a... Could I actually make a scarecrow? Oh, with an armor stand. That'd be cool. That'd look pretty good, wouldn't it? Um, right, now the water doesn't reach all the way around the edges, does it? And I can't remember, is it the corners? The corners and the sides. I might have to put like, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna do some of these like turned the wrong way up. I'll show you what I mean. I think, I can't remember where the best place to put them is. I think the corners are enough, aren't they? Or do you need some along the side as well? Four, one, two, three. I think. I'm not sure. But then, to be honest, it's not really going to be a massive problem if I if I get a few wrong there. So I need a home for the villagers uh, to come in here as well. Because they're going to need somewhere to sleep. And I don't actually know how many. How to make it look. 
I don't know if I just have one villager up here. Just have Sam up there doing his, like, his stuff. That probably wouldn't be too bad, would it? Uh, let's put another one there, there, like that. I would like to build that home for the villagers. Ooh, cool. Right, uh, hop, ah. Got some blocks in here. All right, let's get another one in there. On it there. Can I have the block back out of there? Thank you very much. Don't like to waste blocks. What I was actually thinking of uh, with the um, with the villagers here is of building a massive, large oak tree in the middle here, and making it a bit like a tree house for the villagers to live in that was my pl that was my plan that's what was in my head big custom oak tree with the leaves overhanging and stuff a bit not too much because I would get too many creeper spawns and stuff like that um, but yeah and then have it like a little bit of a, a, a log house in the center and then like a pathway going down where Sam could wander down and like do his business, do his uh, his farming, and it would be like a house that all the villagers live in to like look after all these these animals and stuff. I thought that could be quite cool. And then down here we could have some like fishermen, and they could all come up and down to their little different areas. So, right, so what I should be able to do is do that, and now these look like normal cobblestone slabs, but we've actually hit the water underneath. Now, if I've got this right, I should be able to waterlog all of the earth now. I don't know about the ones in the corner. I think it reaches from what I remember. I uh, don't think that's fully grown yet, is it? Is that for one? No. Oops. A bit early with that one. Right, so we can get this all growing. And when we bring Sam up here and he's in here, he'll be able to do that. But I'm going to leave him down there for now. I'm going to leave Sam in his house over there until we got this tree made. Now, the tree is gonna be oak, as I already said. So what I wanna do is I wanna go and clear out my inventory and start getting all the oak that I need together. It's very quiet in chat. Where have they all gone? You all fell asleep. Uh, building blocks going that one over there. Uh, I don't know why I've got this slime and stuff. That's my toolbox. Where's my. Don't need these things. They're like disruptive. Breeding foxes right now. I got the fox bug now. What's the point? I'm sending more foxes around. There used to be foxes over here when this map first started. Everyone wants one. Do you play uh, Minecraft then, kitten? I'm interested to know. What have I got in here? This music is the uh, same one that um, Pixel Riff uses, isn't it? Yes, I'm an old builder. Oh, okay. So, would you be interested in coming and joining our little server clan as well? Being part of the community to build? I'm obviously trying to enlist as many people as I can. Because <laughs> at the moment might be the only way I like get people on. Dealing with building with coral. Oh, I see. Okay. You're all just like listening to me now, aren't you? Right. Oak trees. This is what we need. We need lots of oak trees, puddy cat. 
Yes, we do. Pretty cat. Pretty cat, pretty cat, pretty cat. Now, there's no trees in here. Oh, you could build a few cottages, but I'm an organizer of big projects. Okay, organizing. Oh, you're organizing a big project. So, are you organizing projects on the server that you work on then? Oak saplings. Now. I'm trying to remember, I think the last time I tried to grow oak trees in here, I had a bit of a disaster and it broke it. So I'm going to go and... My current server is for meat and grit for the modded adventure I'm playing. Oh, I see. Very nice. Interesting ideas. Um... Bone mill. Have I got... I think this thing's producing some bone mill. Let me... Oh, there's a tree in here. Let's move that out of the way. 26 bone mill. Is that it? Hmm. They're not producing many. The iron golems. Actually, I did find another way. Oak trees are messes. You have to put slabs over. I did put a slab up there, but it didn't go in the place I was hoping, to be honest. I was a bit disappointed. So, I don't know what to go on like a massive oak tree expedition. Find loads and cut them down, or just try and grow them. I suppose it might be fun to go on a, a tree expedition, mightn't it? You know what we could do? We could go out for a walk and then open that map and see what comes out. Should we do that? Let's up sticks. Let's go on an adventure. Uh, I'll take my backpack. Like that. Now, what's in here? Um, let's try and empty one of these off a bit and it's got plenty of room for loads of wood in there so we'll take that one with us as well and we can load that up with stuff as we go i've got some food i've got a bit of bone meal i've got some sapling we've got a lot of lanterns we don't need them look how many lanterns i made oh really should take some extra torches it's always important to take extra torches with you isn't it I think I've got everything I need. I think I'll have an eat. And we'll go for a walk. Now, which way are we going to go? I guess the thing is, is if I opened my own map, I'd be able to have a look and let's find out. So, um, anyone who's not on my Discord. I can see where Rady Cat is from here. Um, let's have a look. Where, where's there a load of oak trees, Ready Cat? Have you seen any? Looks like there might be a load over here. Let's have a look. This is the advantage of, of having a, like an Uber duper super duper what's it map. Dynamap. You can sort of like go looking for all the trees. There's loads over there. Um, in that direction. Oh, and there's a dark oak forest over there. Um, Mon PJC is just trying to find out how to like rip the landscape to pieces. Where should we go? Uh, there's not much over there. What's over there? There's like a, a hilly bit. Hmm. I suppose everyone's going to build near-ish by, and that's quite a big oak forest over there. And I've never walked that way around, so I might go that way. Right. So, yeah, if anyone's interested, um, use a client-side map and the mini-map. Yeah, I did think that. But... Um, I like Dynamap and I don't want to make it too modded, the whole feeling. Yeah, and it does look like south is the direction I want to head in. Which way is south? That's, I think it's that way. 
Uh, I can never see where the blooming... There it is, that way. South. Let's go this way. Off on our adventures. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so Kitten, if you want to know any more about my social media feeds, uh, I don't know what you use yourself, but I have Discord, I have Twitter, Facebook, and I try and post on those different things that I'm up to. So feel free to have a look if you're interested. All you have to do is type exclamation mark in the chat and the name of the uh, social media you're interested in. You're on my, you're on my, oh, yes. I'm so up with these things, aren't I? Why didn't I bring a saddle on a donkey? Um, yep, so type exclamation mark Twitter, Discord, anyone else who's listening out there as well. That's how you go about finding me. I do apologize. Are you on my, I haven't seen you post much in Discord. Maybe it must be me. I sometimes get confused because I know people use different names on Discord to what they use in the Discord. Uh, Discord? Discord. Discord and Twitch and stuff like that. I know what I meant. Oh, it's dark over here. Doopy doopy doo, doopy doopy doo. The sheep look like they've been having fun over here, don't they? There's an oak tree. I won't kill that one. We'll keep heading south. Same Nick. Oh, okay. I see you're really busy. Oh, sweet berries. There might be foxes around here somewhere. Look, I think we might need to have a little sleep. Just before the naughties come out and I've come after me. So you might notice I'm also using Optifine now as well. Oh, Rady Cat beat me. Thank you. Uh, I'm using Optifine now. It's not the... Oh, which way was south? Where's the sun? Okay, I've lost the sun. This is what happens when Mon goes to sleep. He can't see which way he's, he's looking. There we go. That way. Um... Yeah, it's one of the pre-releases. Ooh, pretties. And they haven't got shaders uh, working as yet. And I think that's mainly because there's probably a lot more work still to be done to make sure it's all stable before they switch the shaders on. But I do like the fact that I've got my clouds in place now. I've been sorting out my data packs making sure they're all working properly so that's why I've been sort of like trying to get more people to come on or I want to get more people on now because I want to like test things out see how they go see what people think oh there's a bit of shoreline around here I wonder if somebody else has been over here already oh look blues blue flowers might be I've even been around here already as well I've just received some pretty bad news. Oh, my Minecraft server has been shut down on the 10th because of the lack of players. We spent so much time and money on the server and look. Um, it was made five years ago by 30, oh, hang on. We spent so much time and money for the server to look like it was made five years ago by 13 year olds it's glitchy and yeah it has to go down oh that's not good i didn't you um wasn't the server fairly new you've you you have only you started it just a little while ago didn't you oh look There's a grave here. That's going, Chris. I'm sorry about that. A month ago, but it had a decent success. Yeah, I remember you saying that you got quite a lot of people all on there that were joining the things. And this is one of the things I was thinking about with with this one is like making it sustainable 
So I don't mind spending a little bit of money up front to get it going. But as I, as I was saying a little while ago, I'm, I, this is literally the most basic server I could afford. And it's like uber low cost. And that's because that's all I can afford, really. And the that's why I've also had to decide that I want people to join and play and have fun. And that's why I set a tier one limit. So that the, the small amount, because as you know, Twitch only gives you 50% of... Is it that way I want to go? I think it's that way. Let's go over this way. Yeah, I think that's where the main body of the forest is. I'm just looking at the map at the same time here. Yeah, we'll go this way. We'll go into the forest. Yeah, so the Twitch takes 50% of all the subs you get. So even when you guys... There we go. But, oh my word, that's a big drop. What on earth happened here? Minecraft got weird build stuff <laughs> I'll die doing that right go into the woods and start tree cop dropping let's find somewhere in the middle here that looks at least like it'd be hello what's this oh this is where I had the whole bee thing going on wasn't it do you remember? This is like back really early in the game. When I first started playing on here. I built this because I was lost. I was trying to use it to find my way back to where the bees were. Oh, okay. This is obviously the original bee area. Okay, right. We'll set up camp here then. i just get my boxes out. Like, and... Um, We'll just settle down. I think I think I might even... Oh, no, I don't have a workbench. It's a good job I've got a wood around me. Yeah, so I wanna, as I was saying, I just want to like be able to make this uh, sustainable. What kind of pl um, plug-in does that? Plug-in? Oh, you mean the... Um, oh, the words have fell out of my head. They're all over the floor. You mean the grave? Oh, just finishing my drink there. Sorry about that. Aha, iha, aha. Just spinning everything. Graves are from, drum roll, vanilla tweaks. So I'm trying to minimize having any mods running on the server and keeping this as vanilla as I possibly can. So Vanilla Tweaks is, well, you can just Google Vanilla Tweaks and it allows you to come up with the, the data pack, uh, a resource pack and even crafting modifications. The emphasis of, the, of it is to try and minimize the amount of changes you make to Minecraft to try and keep the natural original look and feel to the game so for example i have diminishing tools it's one of the modifications so as my t the, my diamond pickaxe wears out here in my hand the edges of it will wear away and it's like my armor as well you see this is this is actually my own armor sorry for the longest story ever oh, okay we got hit by the dynamo domino effect. The YouTuber promoting out server said it lacked a lot of things, so we stopped promoting it. Then people started griefing and we don't have admins 24 seven to monitor everyone. Then got sick of it or bored. So some people started leaving. Now it went down from 16 to almost five is peak. Yep. That's all right. You can you can explain what's going on. 
But this is why I want to like allow my server to grow organically. I'm not trying to please don't think in any way I'm criticizing what you've done. Um, but I want to like be very slow and allow people on in the way I do it. And um, one of my views is that I want people to choose where they build. It's probably one of the things I'm trying to work out the most is the the griefing tools. I've got one in mind that I want to use. And I want to like put that on and start experimenting with it and seeing how it works. Now some of the mod packs that are out there that support can do things like you can claim pieces of land and do all sorts of stuff uh, and have real loads of controls but I was actually talking to Halo about this and I felt that if I put lots of controls and server restrictions on then people will rely on them to be the tool that controls how the servers run and I'd like it to sort of almost be self-policed in the emphasis of how Minecraft is. So I'm probably going to have like a, a three strikes and you're out type thing for accidental misbehavior or inconsiderate behavior. Um, but things like, you know, griefing or purposeful demolition of people's property and other things is going to like be automatic bans um, regardless of um, and I have like a complaint system and that's why I've been looking at ticketing systems on discord and and stuff like that we had base protection so even if we had them they somehow apparently grew. yeah and this is part of what I want to do I want to like find out what we can put in place to control that sort of thing because as like I said as much as I want people to come on and play and be involved the last thing we want is to have to start dealing with policing it yep so creepers uh, TNT mines are all methods that um, people often use for griefing The sad thing is these people have spent time looking it up on how to actually go about griefing in someone's basin area. And to be honest, if that's something that they're going to do, they can be gone. They'll be immediately removed from the server if found guilty. And uh, I'm sure you'd agree with me, Chris. Like, they'd lose all their privileges. It is like heartbreaking when you spend a lot of time working on these things and then it takes a small number of people to take them down and that's always the way think about it that's how much of it is in life when you have rules in life because there's a few small number of people who want to like cheat just have things before everyone else yeah stopping fire spread as well so I know been looking at um, World Guard. I think he's one of those that you can like limit fire spread as well. Stop TNT things. But then World Guard protects like a cube area. And there seems to be a lot of like having to set up permissions and things as well. It may well be that when I when I run this and start opening it up, that it will be. I mean, I I got the benefit that to start with is that no one really knows me. I've got quite a small following of you guys, which I'm very appreciative of. But that also means I'm not going to get flooded by hundreds of people straight away. 
Yeah, I can understand exactly how you feel. I would feel the same, to be honest. Uh, but in a strange way, it's partly why I want to have a go at doing this. I have a, a real interest uh, in people's psychology. Uh, mainly because I've suffered with some issues myself. I think that's probably where I... I was going to read Kitten's comment because it's, uh, it's not really somebody's fault. It's just a lack of things to do mostly and the way we built everything. It's just... Yeah, I know how you feel. The problem is that using the game rules for all that, you also prevent villager breeding, iron golem. Yeah, that's that, that's part of the problem. You can like end up really limiting how the game works. Um, and it's interesting because you say about what's happened to you, Chris, and you can sort of see where I was coming from at the beginning. I, okay, I gave a little bit of a speech about people coming into my home but exactly the same for you someone's built you've built this this that world and you spent a lot of time on it and you've basically invited people in to use it okay they it doesn't matter whether they paid or not or anything but they've actually gone against your rules of the server and they've basically come in and peed on your carpet the only way you could probably describe it and if you had a comp someone that you barely knew come in and pee on your front carpet you'd be pretty annoyed as well and that's sort of how I see it people don't get to do that uh, wall of text <laughs> Going around in a circle here so that I can sort of see where the trees are falling. I don't end up wandering away too far away from my bed. Um, yeah, so I went a little bit off topic there. Diverted away from what I was about to say. So, the psychology of people is something that interests me quite a bit, as I was saying. And the reason for that, I mean, I think I was probably always interested even before anything started happening to me. When I was growing up, I've already mentioned, I used to get bullied quite a bit at times. And I think, no, I think it's had a, a long-term negative effect. I don't think it's just bullying. I think it's environmental things affect you as well. Um, but there's a whole host of things that change and shape our personalities and who we are. Um, basically, well, and from about 2012, 2013, things got pretty bad for me. And... I ended up having to sort of go through some therapy a few times and I've suffered an awful lot from anxiety and depression. And to be perfectly honest, that's what was probably getting at me more than anything on uh, Monday night. So as you know, I would have normally streamed on Monday, but I just did not feel it that's the only way i can describe it i i didn't really want to talk i didn't feel like i had anything to contribute i didn't know what i was going to be doing and it's one of those things that just just hits you like a wave and you don't know where it's coming from and it's where's my bed gone it's over there it's not really in it much of an, of an excuse from my point of view because I don't want this sort of thing to beat me but unfortunately it did um, don't worry you can um, oh you got your fox back 
you suffer from clinical depression and several physical disabilities. To me, gaming and my two kittens are all that I have left. Same anxiety and depression hugs, mate. Yeah, and, th and this is it. As, as the amount of people that I have found that are in the Minecraft community that suffer from uh, depression uh, in one form or another. I'm going to get rid of this because it's just... Oh! That's a first. I haven't seen that happen. I'll get that out of the way. I'll put a log there so I know where my base is. So, for instance, Minecrack uh, is probably one of the older groups of people. And when you listen to Good's story about why he started it, he had lots of depression as well. Hence the name of the server being Minecrack. Because it was his mind cracking that was uh, not making it good. Um, it's also interesting to hear people like Exuma talk about anxiety and depression. That's something that he's suffered from as well. And I think a lot of people end up gaming sometimes. As and certainly me ended up gaming as a way of escaping. So here in Minecraft is um to me it's a world where you can sort of run away and hide. And you don't have to deal with the real world. You can just come in here and you can do your own thing. And I, th I think that's important for people sometimes to sort of have that escape to where they can go. Having said that, I've I've done pretty well. I some of the things that were particularly giving me a bad time, I've I feel like I've addressed now. Um, I got help and advice, and I think that's always really important to do. But as part of it, as I said, I was always really, really fascinated and interested in the the psychology of people and how it works. Yeah, building is really good therapy. I'd, I like the whole uh, strip mining. Uh, and that's why I actually ended up doing the other night. It was uh, just strip mining and eventually found myself about nine diamonds and went and bought myself a mending book. So I felt like a chief something. I never knew about Minecraft. I just thought it was uh, Element Animation's community server until one of the hermits talked about it in season six. Yeah, I mean, Minecraft was. Um, if you listen to one of Exuma's streams or videos from the other day, he actually says that uh, Minecraft was some of the inspiration for Hermitcraft to start up. And obviously, we've got people like Vintage Beef. B double O, who were original Minecraft players, have now come over and now play on there. Same as Efo, as well. Is there a channel to post screenshots? Uh, I think in the promote your stuff. I can't remember now. Have a look. If you can't find somewhere to post, I was going to do it in like the whole promote. I know there's a pictures and things thing I'm pretty certain if you can't see it or does it make sense please let me know because I am, I do want to like evolve the discord channel so that people can do stuff like that I did think there was somewhere where you could do that I haven't collected a massive amount of wood have I so far just been picking the little trees psychology of people so I have been looking in a oh, perfect song. Minecraft, you know me all too well. So there's, um, I went through CBT and the therapy and things, but I found it quite interesting to understanding and learning more about how the human mind works. And I find it amazing how people think and, and they can behave. And there's almost like this 
I don't know if other people have had it, but when you go through some of these experiences, there's almost a moment of like enlightenment that allows you to see the world differently. And if you're certainly on the healing process, I think that's something that happens. It's not like a godly type experience. That's not what I'm sort of suggesting. I think it's almost like a sort of a better understanding, a better vision of the world around you and how people are behaving, etc. It won't let me post in that channel. Right, which channel are you having a going at posting in? Is it the pictures one? Just let me know in uh, chat here and I will pop over there and fix it. Have a look. I'm interested to see. Uh, do, 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 do. Because it could be um, because I was like trying to constrict some of it for promote your stuff. The promote your stuff's for the links uh, for people promoting links. I think. Hang on a minute. I can't remember my own channel. Let me have a look. <sighs> da, 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 da. Ah, yes. I see. We have a subs only area where we've been posting pictures. I see what you mean now. Okay. Um, yeah, because what I was doing is I was like uh, restricting people that can post pictures to just subs, I think. Let's have a look. Um, everyone, let's have a look. So I think... I think it's attaching files, isn't it? Right, so have a go in general chat under welcome. Where I did the countdown. You should hopefully be able to post in there now. It's all sorted. Yeah, that's something I want to do is sort out as well. Kitten is through people who follow and are in chat regularly you collect points so exclamation mark points and you get sub chunk points uh, which is something I've been putting together and what I want to do is I want to use those as ways of being like honorary members of my channel because there are always people who can't afford to sub. I'm currently unemployed. I can't afford to sub any of the channels at the moment. And that I would normally do. So I think it's a, it'd be a good way if I do it so that people who do are in chat a lot or post a lot, we can like let them redeem their points for you know, to get membership onto the server, etc. I think that's a nice thing to do. So I don't believe in the whole pay for everything type approach that some like games and things do. The pay to play type stuff. I've obviously got to get some money out of running this to pay for itself. Um, because as the server gets bigger, then more people will want to play, and I've got to pay more for a bigger server. So I obviously want to get some income from it. Hello there, Enigma. Be a wonderful idea. Thank you very much. So this is part of like what I think about when I'm talking about the mindsets of people and how people play and what they do. There's a lot of stuff that people do and the way we live our lives uh, around the psychology of things. And I'm really fascinated in the mind and how it all works. And part of building a server and running a community like this, what I want to do is I want to see how that works. So one of my fascinations of this is how will everyone get on together? 
how will you as a community police the server what do you find tolerable what isn't tolerable from other players um, how do certain people behave are there people that we say oh actually well okay they might not be able to afford to play but do we do they like really contribute lots on the server are they on here like um, eight or ten hours a week and they you know they deserve to be able to put something in you think of like the whole I know many people have watched Star Trek oh my durability is going right can you see my axe is like really withered at the end now so she got a weird glow on the end of it as well I know why that is it's because I need to update the uh, pictures and stuff posted them in chat awesome I'm gonna go and have a look so I need to dump some wood off here how many have we got one two three four five six seven and a half stacks right there's a bit of excitement in chat let's have a look in discord what have we got woohoo look at this Oh, I like that. All right, I'm having a look at the first one. I like that. I've never... Is that pink stained glass? That looks pretty good. That I have nothing to do. I would spend a lot of time on it. Well, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to spend... I like the lights. The redstone lights. Very nice. Very nice. I like in the pathway. There's that little bridge there. In the trees. Oh. Very nice. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Let's have a look at the next second picture. Oh, I like the jack o Is the allowed jack o lanterns in the in the roof of that little hut on the second picture, uh, bottom right? That's a nice idea. It actually goes in with the, the tone. It actually creates a nice pan and also practical with the lighting. I like it. And that's a. I'm just looking. All oh, these coral blocks in there you've been using, mixed in with the the cobble. And things and granite on the roof the looks of it yeah they are very cheap to make it's very interesting oh let's have a look inside the house a lot of pink there kitten <laughs> food on the plates villagers a nice bit of cake there in the background lots of cats so is your world uh, survival? Tell us a little bit about it. I'm interested to know now. Is it a survival world? Is it... Um, what have I got here? I want to make some more tools. Uh, I'll have a piece of wood, please, so I can make myself a uh, crafting bench. That'd be very nice. Just one of those. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated, thank you very much. Lovely jubbly. Oh look, I've collected loads of sticks, isn't that lovely? Just what I wanted. Where's me? Okay, have I gone complete? Oh, I was gonna say, where's my pickaxe gone? Why, 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 why a pickaxe? Oh, you dope. Just made completely the wrong thing. The cats and dogs will be moved to the castle when we conquer the ocean monument. Pure vanilla 15-2. Wow. Very good. So how many... Um, hey, I finished what I'm... Oops. Oh, sorry, Rady Cat. I completely missed your message in my chat down the bottom here. That's bad of me. Uh, so I can come and give you a hand if you want. You can come and give me a hand if you want to. You know you can. You can always do that. I have no problem at all. You can probably see where I am on the map. I'm probably only going to be on for about five minutes, to be honest. Because uh, I, on a Wednesday, I come off just on nine, just after nine o'clock. Because uh, Halo will be back any minute. And I've not seen her really today at all. So that gives me an opportunity to have a chat with her before we go to bed. 
and sort ourselves out, make some lunch and stuff for tomorrow. I can't have a floating tree. I just can't do it. Yeah, Kitten, you're going to have to tell us more about your world and put some stuff in Discord. Feel free to like uh, post in there what your world is, what you do there, how many people are on there. It'd be really interesting. So yeah, so just wrapping up what I was saying, I'm really interested in seeing how people can play together on a server and build teams and communities organically and see how you guys all work together. I'm not gonna like try and encourage anything. I wanna like just let you guys go at it. What can you come up with? See how it turns out. And I'm just gonna be here watching and seeing how you all play together, basically. Try and keep the wheels turning. And the other stuff I want to do as well is I want to come over and promote your stuff regularly. Uh, I know that's something that Exuma wished I think he could spend more time doing. He's actually going looking at people's builds uh, on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. But he, you know, he's got his world's a job playing Minecraft. But he's got to do other things as well. Yeah, uh, the model would be the centre of a huge castle that you have played. I'm going back to digging my hold for the next few days, I think. <laughs> well, Crest, give give me some give me some reasons, as I said, or design me a banner. You know my thoughts. A piece of wood in here. Oh yeah, it's a bit of tree. Get me a nice banner design for the server or um, put some stuff down explain and I would like to see people being able to get people on here very very soon you know what I might take this rose home and I'm gonna plant that where we lost the bunny I think that'd be nice for the bunny. Wouldn't it? Yeah, what do you think? That'd be nice for the poor little bunny, wouldn't it? Right, where are we? Here we are, where's a, where's a good view? There we go. Classic Minecraft territory. Um, I stream world tours a lot now. Do you, kitten? Oh, kitten, you need to... Um, send me a link uh you can either like just send me a dm of uh, where your twitch is and i'll come and have a look and if you know if you're doing lots of stuff like that i want to promote other streamers as well and potentially we can get you in the notification list so that when you go live other people will know and i can come and watch and see what you do as well um but this is where i'm going to wrap it up tonight guys thank you all very much for being out there and for watching and i just want to say i really do appreciate the comments and the kind words and um the help and support you all give it's been really hard the last six months or more not having a job and starting this up and okay this might not be the biggest world and server in the world but I'm enjoying it and I love Minecraft and I enjoy, you know, the chats and everything that you come in on. Enigma, don't worry, I'd, I've been really bad at posting the updates and everything. I need to get back to doing my server videos and everything else as well. Um, but keep your eyes peeled, guys, because, well, basically, I've got very very little to do in the next week or two and well who knows i might just be online a lot more than i have been so far who knows anyway guys thank you very much love to you all 
See you later. And be good. Bye.